Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos and I am your new messy best friend, bitch. So you want to have a good time. You want, you want the tea. You want to be messy, bitch. I got you. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll be on our way, all right? Um, yes, you guys have told me oil your chair. How? How do I oil a chair? Because I watched a YouTube tutorial that said oil where you think it makes noise. I think it makes noise everywhere. So I started oiling it up and then one thing led to another and then now I'm pregnant. I can't do certain movements without getting a little bit heated, bitch. So anyways, my next plan is just to get another chair, okay? I want another chair, but I just don't know which one, bitch. I, and the thing is, Myrtle, my chair, she's, she's a good one. She's a good one. She's just very noisy because maybe I gained a little weight over the holiday weekend, bitch. But she does not have to fucking fat shame me the way she does. But anyways, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we have so much to talk about today, so grab a snack and a drink, and let's get started, bitch. Um, okay, so listen, Prince Harry is... Girl, I don't understand what in fact actually is going on with Prince Harry, but people are just really not liking him. Like, here's the thing. I'm only starting to get into, like, the royalty tea, if you will, and I'm, I'm just starting to do all of that, and, like... The things that I have seen, like, people actually don't really like him or Meghan. I thought it was the other way around. I thought people didn't like William or Kate. Um, but I guess a lot of people don't like Harry. I made a TikTok video that kind of went, you know, it, it, it went places. And, um, oh my god, you guys, 90% of the comments were hating on Harry because of this new autobiography book that he uh, is releasing or has released or is about to release, or just released, one of those four. Um, it's called Spare, and basically, um, he spills so much tea, but a lot of people think that he's spilling like too much tea, and that he is turning his back on his family because of Megan, so she's getting the blame over everything, apparently. I, I Listen, I swear to you, I am just getting into it, and I really thought William and Kate were like the... The ones everyone hated but damn the comments because here's the thing in this um well the story i'm about to share with you guys um it's just one of the things that uh Her prince harry said in his autobiography some other ones are like poking fun of william's hair loss of uh racism like of, of just like a bunch of stuff right um, how he got mad over, like, a fake sex scene that Megan did in her show Suits. Like, just a bunch of stuff, right? And it goes on and on. But one of the things that he did is he admitted to killing 25 Afghans, okay? And um, now it's basically being said that Afghan officials and citizens urged the international community to bring Prince Harry to war crimes court after he admitted killing 25 Afghans during the U.S.-led occupation of the country. So some people are going crazy with this news, basically saying, you know, he needs to go to jail, he needs to do this, but a lot of people are saying, like, girl, it's common sense, he was just following orders or whatever, right? Um, I honestly feel like Prince... I, I No, the thing is, I think that a lot of people are um, shocked and a little bit like, girl, what is going on here? Because we have never seen so much tea come out of someone royal, right? Like, never. I mean, the closest, like, messiness to royal that we've had is, like, the Princess Diaries when she, like, does not want to be queen and she tells, you know, the Queen of Shinobia to shut up. Shut up, right? So it's just, like, Prince Harry is saying a lot of things. And, like, some of the things that I believe that he is saying, you know, he's... He's airing dirty laundry with, with what is to some dirty laundry. But to him, I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, it's his reality. It's what he has gone through. It's what he has lived through. And, I, you know, listen, I really don't understand, like, all of the perks that they get for being, you know, born into being royal. But I have to say, like, his childhood was not great. Both his and William's, Okay. Not great. I mean, they could not go on vacation. They are always haunted by paparazzi. And to this day, people believe that the paparazzi is the one who princes Diana, right? Uh, well, I mean, there's a lot of conspiracies. You know, there's conspiracies over the queen, allegedly. You know, 
there's a, you know that the paparazzi like just so many things there's so much darkness in my opinion surrounding the royal family so much darkness and you know that darkness comes from the secrets you know that they're sitting on so many secrets so i believe because of harry he is putting everything out there people don't know how to react to it because you know the the royal family has been so protected over so many you know forever now comes prince harry and he's spilling all the tea and people are putting the blame on megan because they're saying like she's the one who is like forcing him to do it so they can stay relevant um that's sort of like the vibe of the like you know twitter and tiktok and stuff that i've been reading is that people believe that uh megan is the one who is like in his ear trying to get him to do to keep on doing these things because she knows that this is going to you know eventually bring them opportunity bring them money you know the book is going to be such a huge boom and you know all of these things so um i don't necessarily believe it's megan i also really truly believe that prince harry is just he's he's you know he left right he's out of it he's not there anymore so i think that he's realizing a lot of the things that he had to go through or that he has seen and witnessed and experienced um those are the things that you know he's like this is wrong and the world needs to know right for example you know the the costume that he uh wore in, in the costume you know he's saying that it was prince william and kate's idea um you know, also talking about how, you know, they got into a physical altercation. You never see these things. You never see um, this sort of uh, energy because they're so prim and proper when they're out, right? He also talked about that, you know, there's always been like a rivalry um, between them too. And, you know, it used to be that Prince, it, no, it's so, it's it used to be, that William was like, you know, the, the heartthrob or whatever. Then Prince Harry came about. He was like the black sheep, kind of the bad boy. And then he was popular. And then as soon as he got with Meghan, everything kind of turned, you know, the other way. Now, going back to, if you know, about the of the 25, you know, Afghans the, the, and then going to court or whatever. People are saying that he's going to go to jail. People are saying this. That I don't believe that he's going to go to jail. Um, I don't think that there's any kind of... Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know how, how, how a war court goes, you know what I mean? But I truly don't think that he's going to jail. I think that, I think that a lot of people think he overshared because what I said about the family secrets, because everything has been kept so, so carefully and there's so much darkness there, um, that, you know, that's why people are reacting. Now, um, I had an Uber driver just like a couple weeks ago. And he, I, you know, I heard the accent. I was like, oh my God. And I'm the type of like Uber passenger that like, you know, I do have my AirPods on, but like if the Uber driver is talkative, I'm like, girl, I'm going to be talkative too. Like I'm, you know, I'm not going to be like, mm -hmm. no, I'm like, I used to be like that because I was shy. But now I, I think, I think it's just like cool to talk. Right. And, and if they want to, then of course, but I, I mean, if they're not in the vibe to talk, girl, I'm, trust me, I'm not talking. But this guy was so incredibly sweet. He honestly could have been my grandfather. He was like so cute and just like old and just so he, I mean, he looked like everybody's grandfather, like, you know, picture perfect grandfather. Um, <clears throat> anyways, um, we started talking about like everything and we started talking about like the royal family and stuff. And he said that um, this was actually, this was right around the time that she passed. Um, this was maybe like a couple of days after actually she passed. And he told me that, um, you know, I said, how, how is it really over there? Like with the Royal family, like do the people really love the queen? Um, you know, it's, we started talking about the queen and he was like, you know, people really loved the queen and respected her, um, because you know, she was part of, of, of the, whatever it's called for like, you know, decades or whatever. And then, you know, monarchy, maybe. I don't know, bitch. I don't know big words. But anyways, he started spilling some tea, right? And I was like, but like, you, you often hear so many negative things about the queen. And he's like, yeah, I know, especially through the media. And then he was like, I'm not the biggest fan of the queen, he said. But he said, people really love the queen. And he said, I love the fact that she, you know, was there for so many years. But there's just a lot of things that, you know, I did not like or agree with her. Um, and then I mentioned Princess Diana. And this is so funny because here in the US, you often hear that people like loved Princess Diana, like, you know, she was very loved. 
but some English people did not like her because of the queen, right? And he said, uh, you know, we started talking about like Princess Diana and stuff. And he said that the queen felt a lot of uh, hatred and jealousy when, when Diana passed because she didn't expect it to be such like a big mourning and such big like, you know, um, like just like it paralyzed the whole world basically, right? And he says that the queen was not expecting that and that, um, you know, that sort of really hurt her. And then somehow I said, you know, what do you think really happened to Princess Diana? And he said flat out, he said, every single person knows that the queen was the one who wanted that to happen. That's what he said. Every single person over there knows deep down inside that the queen was the one and nobody really even talks about it. That's what he said. And I was like, oh my God, because I mean, there's been like rumors. And then if you watch the movie, The Queen, she gives like like a little, there's like a little, you know, it, it kind of leaves at a, at a moment where it's very free for interpretation that if she did it or not, you know what I mean? Um, I fully believe that anything is possible in this world. Living in Hollywood, bitch, anything is possible. But um, I do have to say that, you know, he also said that um, there was a lot of darkness. Um, I, he didn't use the word darkness. He just said there's a lot of like eerie uh, energy coming from uh, that family. And he said at one point or another, a lot of things are going to come out. Then I asked him about Meghan Markle. I was like, is she loved? And he's like, no, nobody likes her over there. And it has nothing to do with race. It just has to do with her and her attitude and her she he said that she has like her nose up to to the, the the english people and he did say that they love kate um so here we have like the opposite right we have like the opposite and then i told him about like the oprah interview that she did with uh megan and were you silent or were you silenced you know that one he said that that was you know very american propaganda he said that's what he said and he said that if we go over there, that we'll know exactly how like they feel. So they love the queen, they love William, they love Kate, but they don't necessarily love Harry or Meghan. And they don't love Harry allegedly because of Meghan. That's what he said. So this is coming from like an English, uh, you know, guy. And I mean, obviously I don't know much about the royal family. It's something that I've always kind of wanted to learn just because I just remember like my mom being so, or is so obsessed and was so obsessed with Princess Diana. And I I just remember hearing about the time that she passed, my mom explaining the hurt that she felt when Princess Diana passed and that she was so devastated. And that the world, she told me that the world basically got, you know, still because of Princess Diana. And that everybody knows or feels it in their heart the same that she passed because of allegedly the queen. So I don't know, you know, it, there's there's just so much in there. There's so much um, darkness. I, I really do believe that there's a lot of darkness. Um, I don't know, you guys. I feel like somehow, some way, I don't know if this is like intuition or what it is. But, like, I just don't see, like, a happy ending for Harry and Meghan if they keep on, uh, you know, spilling all this tea. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I fear for them. And I hope that, you know, obviously I'm being dramatic or whatever. But, like, after hearing, you know, that, like, he, th he fully says that, you know, a lot of people believe that the Queen did it. I'm like, anything is possible, bitch. So, I just hope that they take care of themselves and... I, I believe that it's okay to, to, to say your truth and I think it's okay to to express yourself and stuff. Um, but it is Prince Harry and, and, you know, a lot of people are blaming Meghan. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, by the way, are you Team Harry and Meghan or are you Team William and, Me and, and Kate? And also, were you silent or were you silenced? Cut. <laughs>